to TV 111, Osaka 4. I'm back at y'all again. Today's subject is energy, residue, and information. Why do I say energy, residue, and information? This is because energy carries information in the form of residue that sticks to your aura or what we call your force field. Now, when you are studying a particular thing on a consistent basis, for an example, if I study the whales, right, and I, my force field conjure up enough energy from the consistency that I put in and studying the whales and the superiority of the studies that I get when I study the whales, then I carry that in my aura. So when I go and visit the whales physically, they will pick up on my respect for them within the aura that I've been studying them in, and they will eat out of my hand. They will literally eat out of my hand because they will start to see me as them. Why do I say that? Our ancestors didn't only exist in a human form. We have ancestors that lives in the ocean, in the seas, and in the inner earth. I always say that. Now, I'm going to give you another example. I study demons. Now, and the residue and energy that I picked up from the demons that I studied, I affected certain people in an environment that I went into once I got into that environment. When I went to the gym one day, for an example, once I went into the sauna, there were Europeans there, and they quickly ran out of the sauna. And I tried to figure out why. This was, th this was a three-day fast to acknowledge my lower self, meaning I studied demons, right? So the second day I went back to the gym, I left my mind, went and traveled into the mind of these Europeans to see myself through their lenses, and what I saw scared me. So I was seeing what they were seeing through their lenses by getting into their mind and looking at myself through their lenses because they lack melanin in the eyes. And, the, and melanin in the eyes gives us another form of being able to sense through another vision or through another lens. This is our spiritual lenses. So even today, there are a lot of Europeans, they won't admit it that when they see a lot of people who are vibrating on higher frequency, they see them in a different light. They don't see what you see when you see yourself in the mirror. They don't see humans. They see the thing that you study. So if you are studying angels, or you are studying mermaids, or you are studying extraterrestrials, then this is what they see, because your force field distributes energy by way of residue that sticks to their aura, which is a lower form of carbon that they have within the jurisdiction of their force field. So therefore, they start to see you in that vision. So energy, residue, and information, because energy carries information. And if you are consistent with the information that you are putting within your subconscious, then that residue sticks to your force field. Again, and if you go around that well, and you've been studying whales on a consistent basis in the form of respect and moral values, that whale will start to see you in a different lens and feel the respect that you've been utilizing by studying them on a consistent basis, and they will eat out your hand. This goes for the rest of the extraterrestrials and our ancestors that reside in nature. The birds is our ancestors. The whales, the sharks, all of these are our ancestors. The things in the inner earth, we can communicate with things there as well. But that's another topic for a different day. Okay, so with that much said, this is Black Science TV 111, Osaka 4, I'm out. Peace.